Hi guys! So we'll bring you the story of this young man who goes by the name Hamid and Adeguke. They both killed their friend because he had more money than them and he was flaunting his money. So they couldn't handle their friend having more money than them. Neither could they handle their friend flaunting his money before them. So a report was made at the police station in Modakeke Oshun State on the 7th of August of a missing person. The police began their investigation and during the course of their investigation, they arrested Hamid uh, Wahab, who is 28 years old. Hamid confessed to the police that himself and Adegwike Ayobami, who's 31 years old, killed Oguntade Wasil, the person who was declared missing on the 7th of August 2022. The police asked them to take them to where the body was and they led the police to the site where they carried out the heinous act. When they got to the site, the police saw the body of Wasil on the site and they began to question them why they killed Wasil. That was when Hamid began to tell the story of what led to them killing their friend was you. According to Hamid um, Wahab, he is a tailor, he's also a motorcyclist and he rides the motorcycle to add to his source of income and he's also an internet froster, popularly known as Yahoo Yahoo, but he has not made any uh, money from his internet fraud dealings. Unlike his friend was you, who is also or who was also an internet fraudster, but had made money from his um, internet fraud dealings. So, according to Hamid Wahab, their deceased friend Wasu was making money from his internet fraud, and he was flaunting his money. He, he got a shop for his wife, he was buying gold and other things, and he was never afraid to flaunt his wealth in their faces. And Wasu had also told them that he wanted to buy a piece of land. So they told him they had a piece of land to show him if he was interested so he could buy. You know, as though they were good friends, right? Wasio, unsuspecting, I guess, trusted his friends and decided to go on a site inspection with them. Unknown to Wasio, his friends, uh, Wahab Hamid and Ayobami, had already hatched a plan to kill him. Even though they claimed they didn't plan to kill him, they only wanted to rob him of his money so they could uh, make use of it for their own needs. I don't know how true that will be. I mean, if you use a cutlass on a person, you should have calculated that grievous bodily harm will be the consequence of that act and would likely result in death. So I don't understand what they mean or what they meant by they didn't really plan to kill him. Oh well, they took him to the site, he inspected the site, and on their way back, uh, Wahab said he was at the front while Wasu walked behind him and Ayobami was behind Wasu. So Ayobami uh, held this guy, the deceased Wasu, and began choking him, after which he brought out the cutlass and hacked him on the head. Wasu fell to the ground. They took his money, of course, and Ayobami proceeded to kill was you sad 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 thing so according to Wahab he did reported himself to the police days after they killed was you and I'm wondering right if you kill a friend because even if it's not your friend, if you kill anybody because you think they are that person is doing better than you, or that person is flaunting their wealth, would that single act stop a million of others in the world who are wealthier than you, or who are doing better than you, and who will continue to flaunt their wealth in your face? If you're able to kill your friend for doing that, 
would you be able to kill the millions out there whom you cannot reach? So if you can't do that, if you can't kill every other person for being better than you, why can't you contain your envy? Why can't you contain your hatred? Why can't you contain the evil that reigns in your heart? I mean, I don't get it. A lot of times, people come on social media and begin to scold other people for showing off their wealth, for living the way they, they're living. I get that angle of thought, right? But you should also be careful if you're one of such people because that is how such envy begins. It begins that way. If that person is close to you, you may just one day just one day if care isn't taken hatch a plan like these ones did so i'm lost for words really all i can say at this point is guys it's a cold world out there please be careful always always be on the lookout no matter how you trust your friends if you have to go for any kind of visit or whatever outing with your friend make sure someone in your family or some other friend knows about it there should always be another person that is aware that you are with this person and let this person knows that other people knows i am with you at this time maybe it will help curtail such evil deeds so guys, if you enjoy watching this video, please like it, share it, and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't fail to turn on your notification so you'll be the first to know when we upload our next video. Take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always, always be safe. I remain Darkest Igeo Lokon and I love you.